This is Bumper to Bumper TV. The Chicago Auto Show, like cold weather in February, is a constant. A key event of the season, it is also a place for automakers to unveil products that might have been overlooked in Los Angeles or Detroit. GMC took advantage of the setting to present a new version of the Acadia Crossover and upscale Denali Edition. A lot of attention has been paid to making both vehicles resemble the rest of the GMC lineup. Hyundai has decided to tweak the successful Elantra sedan with a coupe, and if you want to get edgy, why not have the option of a GT version which is tricked out with fancy wheels, paint, and a performance suspension. On that same note, Ford wants the public to know that performance still matters, and now is offering a convertible version of the Shelby GT500 for those who want the option to feel the wind in their hair at more than 100 miles an hour. Chrysler didn't have a new vehicle, but their Mopar division is stepping up with modifications for nearly everything the company makes. They're also offering an app to keep track of a driver based on social media based geofencing technology. This is a tool that can let you know exactly where your vehicles are. While that may appeal to the parents of young drivers, or in a case of theft, how does it impact on the issue of personal privacy? You know, in the, in the parent-child scenario, the, clearly mom or dad owns the vehicle and is simply protecting their asset. Um, so, you know, we're not invading any privacy. We're just providing the consumer or the um, professional the opportunity to manage their assets. Nissan becomes the latest car maker to use social media to engage potential buyers. In Chicago, the company launched Project 370Z, which lets enthusiasts design the 2013 version of the sports coupe via Facebook. But the company is not straying too far from the bread and butter of the industry. They took the wraps off the NV200, a small work van. It's the third in a series of commercial vehicles designed and built specifically for the North American market. Kia is taking the successful Optima midsize upscale with an LX version featuring special wheels, trim, and interior. And yes, the brand appears very close to building this. A high-performance version of the Soul, dubbed the Trackster. And why not? The hip-hop gerbils have already taken the marketing campaign for the vehicle over the top. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.